great that Brady Kid's gonna play remote control, but there's something Colin and I were wondering if we could ask you. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Great. Uh, we know you guys were supposed to be brothers and sisters, six of you living in, under the house, you know. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly, but we know you weren't related, and no, we're wondering no. uh, just flat out who was sleep have... sleeping with who. What? I mean, come uh, on. Wait a minute. William, give it up. Give oh, us every lurid detail. Come on. You know, wait, look, I really shouldn't talk about that. Oh, Barry. Oh, I mean, you know, the, uh, the six of us were... Uh, Sworn to a secrecy, you know? Uh, you know? Uh, ah, ah, You don't have to hit me over the head with a mallet. <laughs> okay, come on. What transpired, my friends? Well, all right. Now, listen, you didn't hear this from me, but Susan Olsen and the guy who played Sam the Butcher one time disappeared into her dressing room. Oh, no, no, time. No, my time. I can't believe <laughs> you said that. That's supposed to be a secret. You know that. I hate you. I've always hated him. You are such a pig, Williams. All right. I think it's about time that uh, we had this out between the three of us. I've been waiting for this one since his yeah, 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 hey, I could have out now. Hey, 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 <laughs> cut it out. Come on. Hey, yeah. Jeez. Come on. Cut it out. You're going to play the image, man, and we got to play the game. Come on, relax. Oh, yeah. Chill out. All right. Okay. Okay, we'll do the happy family stick one more time. And after the show's done, Williams, you are dead. Pow, zoom to the moon, Olsen. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, come on, we're not in short. Yeah. Security! Security! Security. Oh, Jenny wasn't like the other kids. Remote control. TV mattered, nothing else did. Remote control. Girl said yes, but he said no. Remote control. Now he's got his own game show. Remote control. And now it's his basement, it's his rules, it's his game show. The quiz master, Spanky Jammy Master of 72 Whooping Jam Spanky Canova. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, Carl, Isla, Steve, how, how you doing? How are you? Hey, Claude. Um, needless to say, I probably waited my my entire life for this moment, and and it's here. And. And let's do it. Let's meet our very special guest for the day. Playing this game, no ordinary uh, contestants. We have the Brady Kids today, right here. First of all, Eve Plum, who, as you know, played Jan Brady. Jan, today, will be playing for the Historic Oaks Foundation Charity. In the middle, next to Eve, is Barry Williams. <laughs> Barry Williams, of course, played Greg Brady. Barry Day will be playing for the Adam Walsh Child Resource Center. And filling it out on the end, Playing bass from San Francisco. <laughs> On the end, <laughs> Susan Olsen, who will always play the youngest Brady, Cindy Brady. Cindy will be playing for the Greenpeace organization today. And now we have to decide who is in control. Let me lift up the giant mythical bob head and take out our control question. Brady's, listen carefully. There we go. For five points and control of the game. How many times did Mike Brady get Carol pregnant? That is Eve. None. None, right. Eve, you have five points control. We come back. It's Brady against Brady. Let's see what happens. Okay. Back and ready to play the game. This is how we do it. With nine channels. You guys pick a channel by hitting your little buzzer, you know, I'll call on you. You answer the question, and of course, the person that gets the most right goes into the big wheel, and hopefully you'll get five grand headed towards your charity. Eve, yo, oh, Eve, you're yeah. in control, and, uh, and you have a lead. Go ahead. I'd like uh, channel eight, please. Channel eight. How dumb can you be? <laughs> These are the easiest questions we could think of. Let's see how dumb you guys can be. Here we go, five points. Who was president when Puerto Rico became a state? Buzz in and tell me who was president, Eve. Puerto Rico isn't a state. That's right, five points. <laughs> you gotta get up pretty early to fool the middle Brady girl. That's for sure. Go ahead, Eve. Um, I'm gonna be daring and try channel nine. Channel nine, no witness news. Okay, look up here on the screen. Which of these headlines actually appeared in the Louisville Courier Journal and Times on September 26, 1976? Yes, we have a very bored research department. Here we go. Was it number one, Barry Williams? Is he the next Elvis? 
Number two, Ann B. Davis says, aliens ate my shrubs. Or maybe number three, success is hooker, wait and see, says Eve Plum, which actually appeared in the Louisville Courier Journal Times, September 26, 1976. Susan. Number three. Number three, right. <laughs> right, Eve. Uh, Susan. I know Susan about Riley. this girl. Eve, you know that's an actual headline? I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Susan. Okay, um, I'm going to take channel three. Channel three, reruns. Five points. Gene Gene, the dancing machine, and the unknown comic were two mainstays on what elegant and understated game show? They were mainstays. Gene Gene, the dancing machine, and the unknown comic. What was the name of that game show? Barry. The Gong Show! Yes, five points. <laughs> Go ahead, Bear. I'd like to stick with number three. Okay, staying with reruns. Ten points. On their sitcoms, Dick Van Dyke and Bob Newhart each had a friend named Jerry with an oral fixation. What business would both Jerry's end, Eve? Dentistry. Right, ten points. <laughs> Eve, 20 points. Susan, 10. Barry, 5. It's a close game. Uh, uh, oh, Channel 5, please. <laughs> Dead, alive, or Indian food? Just tell me simply which it is, dead alive or type of Indian food for five points. Gold in my ear. Susan. Dead. Yes, she's dead. <laughs> Prime Minister of Israel died in 1978. Five points. Moves you into second place. Okay, Go ahead, Susan. Okay, um, I'm going to take uh, Channel 6. Channel 6, cartoons. <laughs> five points. Imitate the way Tweety says, or what he says, when he sees Sylvester the cat. Eve. I thought I tore a putty cat. Yes, five points. All that classical acting training paid off, huh? <laughs> uh, channel one. Channel one, Brady Physics. <laughs> yes, sir. Time to learn physics the fun way, the Brady way. Here we go, five points. Bobby enlists in the British Navy and commits an indiscretion with the Admiral's favorite cabin boy. If he's drawn and quartered, how many pieces is he in, Eve? Four. Yes, five points. <laughs> 30 points now. Go ahead, Eve. Um, I'm going to go with channel two. Channel two. Wheel of Torture. Yes, sir. Eve, here's how it goes. It's time to play Colin's dreaded Wheel of Torture. You can lose 10 points. Or you can submit to Quinn's six demented, whimsical, torturous whims and gain ten points. What do you want to do? I'll take the torture, darling. She's going for the torture. All right, Alicia. Give it a spin. Where will it land? Purple Nerf Ball, Sleeper Hall, Indian Burn. to give Eve Plum a wet willy. I know, I know. How did it feel? How well, did it feel? It was like everything I always dreamed it would be. <laughs> Go ahead, Eve. A hard ten, ten points the hard way. Okay. All right, I'm going to try Channel 4. She looks a little stunned. Oh, it's Casey's big paw. Casey has taken that big paw of his and taken it to the streets coast to coast. Now he's back with his lovely wife, Jean, and here's the results of Casey's big Paul. Casey. How you doing, Ken? <laughs> Casey. I brought my lovely wife, Jeannie, out with me to help me with the board here. And I'm gonna ask the following question. We surveyed college students from the New York area and we asked them uh, which of the two Brady kids, since they weren't really related, were most likely to uh, do it. Which of the two Brady kids you think, when asked by college students, most likely to do it? Barry. Greg and Marsha. Greg and Marsha. Greg and Marsha? Greg and Marsha's the number one answer. Yeah! Ten points! That's a hell of a we, won't, we won't ask how you research Don't ask that how answer, Barry. <laughs> Casey? Uh, yes, Ken. You want to tell us what else was up there? Well, I guess I could try, Ken. Number two was Cindy and Bobby. 
Number three, Marsha and Bob. Number four, Bobby and Jan. And number five, Cindy and Tiger. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. Okay. Very. Uh, excuse me, that's that's my mother. Yeah, Ma? I was trying all my cooking shit and trying to put Tiger in the microwave. Oh, set it on slow. Slow hum, I guess. All right, that can only mean one thing. It's time for a snack break. While well, you guys are taking a little snack. <laughs> Let's check the scores. Eve's got 40, tied for second. Susan and Barry with 15. Round two's coming up. And the Brady left standing will get to do this. Hey, okay, they're not going to take anything. But we're going to donate 5,000 Slammy Jammies to charity in the name of today's big winner. If they answer all 10 questions correctly. Right, that's going to be soon. When remote control continues, that's soon. Welcome back to the only game show where I alone decide who wins or loses remote control. Thank you, Colin. All right, we're back. What a first round. Eve Plum, i.e. Jan Brady, racked up 40 points. Barry, i.e. Greg, and Susan, i.e. Cindy, 15 each in second place. Barry, you're in control. Let's go to channel number three. Channel three. Playhouse Internacional. Spanning the globe to bring you the worst in television acting. And here it is, the best of the worst. No pa, Socrates. Feta cheese, Agamemnon. Oh. The blend. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Pegasus, Hermes, Scarf, Aristotle. What show are they talking about, Barry? Fantasy Island. 20 points. Very good. Okay, Barry, you're in control. What are you going to do? All right, let's go with number three again. Okay, one more time. This time it's for 30 huge points. Ah, <laughs> bonjour, Professor. Oh. Combattant petit crayon. Aha. Oh. Eh bien, Marianne, mon crayon is one. La Palace Versailles, a steak fleet, uh, to Mrs. Howell, a ginger. Ah, deux grand man. Barry again. That would be Gilligan's Island. 30 points. <laughs> Barry, you're in the lead. Go All ahead. Right. Let's try Channel 4. Channel 4, black and white television. <laughs> Classic TV. The old days. 10 points. Superman was faster than a speeding bullet and more powerful than what? Barry. Locomotive. Yes, 10 points. Stay with black and white. <laughs> you were just playing possum in that first round, weren't you? <laughs> 20 points. George Burns had a hit TV show in the 50s with his real-life wife, name her, Eve. Gracie Allen. Yes, 20 points. <laughs> oh, Susan, what's wrong? <laughs> One. Channel One, prime time. Maybe this is more up your alley. Isn't it? I don't think you were born yet when they had black and white TV. That's Here we right. go. Yeah. Ten points. Yeah. Okay, on At the Movies, Roger Ebert's the fat guy. Who's the other guy? Susan. Gene Siskel. Yes, ten points. <laughs> All right, Susan. Okay, um, I'm going to go with Channel Nine. Channel Nine, really bad TV. <laughs> These are questions about TV shows that are worse than Three's Company. That's the only rule on this channel. Here we go, 10 points. Robert Blake made an awful TV comeback as tough-talking priest in a sinfully stupid show called Helltown. Eve? Say anything, Eve. It was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, she's right. No. But he's still best known for playing which TV cop of the 70s, Barry or Susan? Susan. Beretta. Yes, Beretta. Yeah. Ten points. All right, Susan, on the comeback trail. Okay, I'm going to take channel two. Channel two, just say no. Channel full of stars who said yes when they probably should have said no, huh? I guess we've all learned our lesson somewhere along the road. Huh? <laughs> okay, here we go. Ten points. Which three men and a baby star got a gold watch from his dad for not drinking, smoking, or swearing until he turned 21? Barry. Tom Selleck. Yes, 10 points. Man. I almost thought it was you, Colin. Okay. Go watch 
for drinking, Smokey. Probably a lot. I think he, he did it. Barry. Yeah. Let's try Channel 6. Channel 6. Brady Network. I hate when I miss these. Here we go. You guys better get this right. Here we go. Ten points. On the very Brady Christmas special, which original Brady kid actor didn't appear? Barry. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Susan Olsen. Right, Susan Olsen. <laughs> Ten points. We tried, Susan. Okay, go ahead, Barry. Listen, it's, it's all in the name of plugging. We'll stay with six. <laughs> Here we go. 20 points, Brady Network. Name the four-eyed, ugly cousin who lived with the Bradys for the last couple of shows. Susan. Cousin Oliver. Oliver, all right. 20 points. Go ahead, Susan. Okay. Oh. Oh. I guess we have to bid those golden curls goodbye. Goodbye, Susan. It's like losing a member of your family, isn't it? <laughs> Barry, Eve. It feels, you know, you know, it feels just like Christmas again. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be great if we had that. What was that other actress's name? I don't know who played her in there. Like, what was it? Uh, Jennifer Runyon. Jennifer, all of a sudden, the chair came down. Jennifer Runyon was in there licking a chicken bone, you know? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Time to play Think Real Fast. 30 seconds, 10 points each. This will decide the game and what happens to your charities. Today we're going to play Which Brady Did It? It's easy. I'll mention something that was done by a Brady Bunch character, and you tell me which character did it. For example, if I said Kiss Davy Jones, you would say Marsha. And remember, Alice, Sam, and Tiger are included, too. Here we go. Get ready. Let's have a clock. Got caught smoking. Barry. Greg. Right, I have to call you. Loved a, loved a boy who only liked bugs. Eve. Jan. No, Barry. Peter. No, Marcia. Help me. Owned Kitty Carry All. Eve. Cindy. Yes, stole Kitty Carry All. Barry. Tiger. Yes, had sex with Mike. Eve. Carol. Yes, hung dead cows in his freezer. Eve. Sam. Yes, was afraid of heights. No! You did it, buddy! Bobby. Congratulations! Bobby. You're going towards that big old thing, 115 Eve. Thanks a lot. Gary, in just a minute, you'll be playing for that five grand for your charity because we're going to be strapping you into the bed. And if you do it, you know what happens. That's right, Ken. These folks are playing for charity, and today's winner is going to get 5,000 bucks donated to their favorite nonprofit organization. No! Oh, well, good job, good to you. Go settle. Yes, sir, same as it ever was, just, just like in the old days, it's Greg left standing. And here he is, strapped into the big old bed of Jeopardy. Now, Greg, this is how we're going to do this. We get 10 TVs, 10 questions. For each question you answer correctly, you win hard cash. The more you get right, the more money you win. When we finish, I'll stop the wheel. If you land on one of the screens that says grand prize, you automatically win $5,000 for the Adam Walsh Child Resource Center, which, Resource Center, which is your All charity right. of the day. We are also, by the way, donating $1,000 to Eve Plum and Susan Olson's charities, respectively. How do you feel, Barry? You ready? Think you know how to do this? Ready? Starting to like this. Starting Ladies? Like this, Join me. Uh, you all set, Barry? All set. Yeah, did, did you eat before you uh, got on your... Uh, Don't your... remind me. Okay. Okay, Eve, you got your hand on the thing. Okay, you all right? Today, let me ex let me just explain what we're going to do today. You're you know, giving her the lever? Yeah, yeah, they've been, you know, apparently there's some pent-up frustration no. in the game. Yeah, not all TV characters were lucky enough to grow up with five brothers and sisters. They're bare. Many were only children. While you're spinning, I'll name one of these sad TV kids, and you tell me the show they were on. For instance, if I said Dennis Mitchell, you would say... That's the minute. Right. Okay? Good luck. Okay. Eve, give him a yank. <laughs> okay. See you, Barry. Number okay. one, Bam Bam Rubble. Lynn Stone. Yes. Number two, Gloria Bunker. Don't know. All the family. 
Number three, Lionel Jefferson. The Jefferson. Yes. Number four, Potsy Weber. Happy days. Yes. Number five, Lamont Sanford. The Sanford and Son. Yes. Number six, Little Ricky Ricardo. Uh, I love Lucy. Yes. Number seven, Eddie Haskell. Uh, uh, leave it to Beaver. Yes. Number eight, Opie Taylor. Uh, 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 pass it. Okay. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. Number nine, Laverne. And Shirley. Yes. <laughs> number 10, Oscar Madison. The Odd Couple. Yes. You missed only two. Stop the lever there, Eve. Let's see where he lands. Yes, you did it. $5,000 to the Adam Wall Crowd Resource Center. That's the most control. All contestants receive British Knights. This fall, get off on the right foot. Get off in BKs. British Knights athletic shoes are on the move. Wherever you go, whatever you do, British Knights are the right move for you. Since multi-brand remote operates most brands of TVs, VCRs, and cable converters. Enjoy the luxury of complete control from the company that invented it, Xena. Promotional consideration provided by Switch It Radio. Boomball Audio is here for the 90s. Wear it anywhere. Features crystal clear shells, multicolored parts, headphone adapter, and necklace from Fun Products. Get the power to move with the Acclaim wireless remote controller for your Nintendo Entertainment System. Accurate up to 30 feet with a rapid-fire mode for super high scores from Acclaim. Delicious Sunny Delight Florida Citrus Punch. Great taste for the whole family. Morning, noon, and night. Nothing delights you like Sunny Delight. From a leading name in sportswear comes a whole new collection of sportswear for men. Catano menswear for you and the man in your life. probably waited my my entire life for this moment and and it's here and and let's do it let's meet our very special guest for the day playing this game no ordinary uh contestants we have the brady kids today right here first of all eve plum who you know play jan brady jan today will be playing for the historic oaks foundation charity in the middle next to eve is barry williams barry williams of course played greg brady Barry Day will be playing for the Adam Walsh Child Resource Center and filling it out on the end, playing bass from San Francisco. No, on the end, Susan Olsen, who will come over play the youngest Brady, Cindy Brady. Cindy will be playing for the Greenpeace organization today. And how dumb can you be? These are the easiest questions we could think of. Let's see how dumb you guys can be. Here we go, five points. Who was president when Puerto Rico became a state? Buzz in and tell me who is president, Eve. Puerto Rico isn't a state. That's right, five points. <laughs> you got to get up pretty early to fool the middle Brady girl. That's good. Go ahead, Eve. Um, I'm going to be daring and try Channel 9. Channel 9, no witness news. Okay, look up here on the screen. Which of these headlines actually appeared in the Louisville Courier Journal and Times on September 26, 1976? Yes, we have a very bored research department. Here we go. Was it number one, Barry Williams? Is he the next Elvis? Number two, Ann B. Davis says, aliens ate my shrubs. Or maybe number three, success is hooked. Great, the Brady kid's gonna play remote control, but there's something <laughs> Colin and I wondering if we could ask you. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Great. Uh, we know you guys were supposed to be brothers and sisters, six of you living under the house, you know. Da, 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 yeah, right, da, 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 da. <laughs> exactly. But we know you weren't related, and no, we're right. wondering uh, just flat out who was sleep sleeping with who. What? I mean, come uh, on. Wait a minute. William, give it up. Give us oh, every Hannah. lurid detail. Come on. You know, wait, look, I really shouldn't talk about that. Oh, Barry. Oh, I mean, you know, the, uh, the six of us were uh, you know, sworn to uh, secrecy, you know? Uh, you know? Ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. You don't have to hit me over the head with a mallet. <laughs> okay, come on. What transpired, my friends? Well, all right. Now, listen, you didn't hear this from me, but Susan Olsen and the guy who played Sam the Butcher one time disappeared into her dressing room. Oh, oh low life slime. I can't believe <laughs> you said that. That's supposed to be a secret. You know that. I hate you. I've always hated him. You are such a pig, Williams. All right. 
I think it's about time that uh, we had this out. I... Now we have to decide who is in control. Let me lift up these giant mythical bob head and take out our control question. Brady's, listen carefully. There we go. For five points and control of the game. How many times did Mike Brady get Carol pregnant? That is Eve. None. None, right. Eve, you have five points control. We come back. It's Brady against Brady. Let's see what happens. play the game. This is how we do it. It's nine channels. You guys pick a channel by hitting your little buzzer. You know, I'll call on you. You answer the question. And of course, the person who gets the most right goes into the big wheel and hopefully you'll get five grand headed towards your charity. Eve, yo, Eve, you're in yeah. control and, uh, and you have a lead. Go ahead. I'd like uh, channel eight, please. Channel eight. Do we need three of us? One, two, three, 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 Pow, zoom to the moon, Olsen. Oh, hey, 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 come on, we're not in short. Yeah, security! Security! security. Oh, what? I'm the hell. Jenny wasn't like the other kids. Remote control. TV mattered. Nothing else did. Remote control. Girl said yes, but he said no. Remote control. And now he's got his own game show. Remote control. And now it's his basement, it's his rules, it's his game show. The quiz master, Spanky Jammy Master. I'm gonna